we first finally crossed the border. Finally, uh, yeah. We were in Washington, and it was amazing to see uh, the, the large apple farms and obviously a really big industry. Uh, the apple crates, or crates of apples, were actually stacked almost like an apartment building. Um, and then we, we traveled through quite a few states. We went from <laughs> Washington <laughs> to oh, uh, Idaho, 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 Montana. Montana. The sun finally broke through after Montana, and yeah. uh, we really got to see big sky country. I mean, oh my gosh! Like, they say it is, but when you see it, it, it was just absolutely gorgeous. It was a sunshiny blue sky day, and we just hammered right across Montana. It was incredible. And then uh, finally got to Yellowstone. Yeah. This it was cold and windy, uh, but, but almost made it better because there was no crowds. There was nobody in Yellowstone. So what was the first name of the Geyser area? It's uh, Lower Geyser Basin. We are about to go on a hike in Yellowstone here to the, uh, it says the Fountain Paint Pots and it's listed as a huge pile of plopping goop. Ooh. So anytime that is put in print, it's got to be a good time. <laughs> and that just had a whole bunch of, um, you know, steam, steam. steamers. Hot pools, Fumarole, hot springs, hot springs, some geysers, and mm -hmm. some bubbling piles, piles of goop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice steam bath. Is it warming you up? Yeah, it actually surprisingly warms you. Like my face is. Do you feel good. <laughs> Thanks, though. Steaks, yeah. Like egg salad. Yeah, brought egg salad. But just really hard to understand or imagine that, you know, this is all going on underground, underneath us, so that the, the lava is, you know, boiling this water and sending it up through these um, vents, through the rocks and such. Now we can explode at any minute. <laughs> yeah. And the steam coming out was really quite warm. Like we, we took a lot of times where we just stood in front of the steam and just let it blow over us and uh, warm us up because it was a chilly night. The problem was it was warm at the time while you were standing in the steam, but then you got all wet and made you colder. So it was kind of pick your battles. We also saw some buffalo for bison. Lots of bison. Lots of bison. They really run the park. You know? give way to them, they kind of run the show, and uh, everywhere, but it's kind of cool to see. It's almost 7 o'clock. We are enjoying a sunrise this morning through Yellowstone Park. We got up at 5.30 this morning uh, in an effort to get to the campground for 7 o'clock to try to uh, ensure a campsite for tonight. First come, first serve basis, and they recommended uh, we be there by 7 a.m., so hopefully this works. Here's our campsite at Yellowstone. And then uh, we went exploring uh, after we uh, got settled. We went up to the Mammoth area, and there was a lot of just vast areas of where these geysers over time have created these different landforms of all the silica and, and different uh, chemicals that have come out of the ground form these different sculptures, some of them are quite bulbous, some of them are more quite square and... And different colors too, depending on the minerals found in them, as well as the, um, there's actually uh, little bacteria, is that what it was? Uh, microorganisms that, that live in this boiling water, and they often give the area the different colors. So apparently the hot springs must be right on the uh, state border because on this side of the information board it says entering Montana and now I walk around the other side and we're now entering Wyoming. Pretty cool. No border control. In Yellowstone they have a place called the Boiling River uh, but that's one of the only places where you can actually get in and swim in the hot springs. So we're just walking our way, yeah. making our way there. And they said it's either really, really hot or really, really cold. So there's probably no in between. Well, the one river was really boiling. If you would have jumped in that river, you would have burned, burned the skin death. off your body. It was that hot. Yeah. And so we got to swim where the regular cold river merged with the hot river. It was kind of cool. 
because when they were coming together, they hadn't yet really mixed. And so you'd stand in one spot, like one leg would be cold while the other one would be like burning your leg hairs off. What you got? I'm cold. I'm hot. Ah! I'm cold. <laughs> We found a real happy medium right now. It's uh, about 102. And a nice combination of uh, warm and cool in this little pool here. Lazy River. And then stop your car again. Beautiful drive, beautiful scenery. Um, some mountains, some cliffs, lots of rivers and creeks. And then you're just driving along wherever and all of a sudden you see steam coming up the side of a hill or uh, over there in that meadow is, you know, steam and bubbling water and such. It's just, it was everywhere and it's incredible. Um, I thought it would just be Old Faithful. That's what you go see and you're done. But no, it, it was all over the park. Our second day we started at Grand Prismatic Spring and um, that was pretty phenomenal uh, simply because of the colors there. Uh, you walked along, they had really nice boardwalks in Yellowstone, but I think that was an effort to keep us safe. He took a video of an aerial photograph to kind of give a perspective of, of what we were not really able to capture, but really showed off the colors. We looked at Excelsius Geyser and it exploded in 1985 and um, it, it burst for 47 hours straight and because it was such uh, a large geyser at the time it caused so much uh, internal damage that it's no longer a geyser but just more of a, a pool of boiling water. This is Old Faithful ahead of us. Got a lot of people hanging around so hopefully it's gonna low shortly. And they call it Old Faithful because it, it's not necessarily the largest geyser in the park, but it's the um, most consistent. consistent. So it's faithful. faithful. You can count on it. About every hour and After a half uh, seeing Old Faithful erupt, we're now just going to a little bit of a hike here, um, just above Old Faithful. There's a number of other geysers that are active in the area. That some erupt every 10 minutes, some every hour or two, or. So we're going to see what we're going to get. Mud volcanoes were probably my favorite. Uh, they just seem to be a lot more bubbly. Mm -hmm. And um, you can really see them bubbling more than... Uh, and they weren't necessarily a geyser, but they, they, they just had more to it. And uh, the, the dragon's... Dragon's mouth was a really neat cool. one. To, uh, to see the steam coming out of a cavern, I guess it was. And there was that one pool, I don't know what it was called, but just very turbulent, you know, yeah, just, just explosives in terms of the, the splashing that, that, that occurred. But it was consistent too, like it wasn't always going to mm -hmm. A new low today, we uh, ran out of battery last night. Can you see our breaths? So the heat is not working here in Yellowstone. It was supposed to snow last night, it didn't, but... One more. <laughs> we are in the mountains, our chip bag has expanded and there's like... <laughs> now we're gonna watch it as we go back down the mountain, see yeah. if it uh, goes down again. What happened, Molly's? What happened? Uh, since the air filled up so much in our chip bag, I was holding it, it popped all over my leg. Guess you get to eat the chips now. Oh, it's like all the crumbs. <laughs> And on our final day, we drove through those, those east end of the of the park, um, heading out of Yellowstone, around Yellowstone Lake. Uh, we saw some neat scenery, and then even up into the mountains. Um, where who would have thought that in September it snowed? It snowed a lot. Now have a snowball fight. Yeah, oh, it's September 27th and we're driving from Yellowstone. Ah! Oh, this is what greeted us.
a horrible aim. No! No! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Alright. One more! I had to go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you okay? It's too early for this. 